How's it going everybody? We're back at it again. It's been a while, so I really do apologize for the the long delay. I'm really just trying to get things prepared for you guys in advance. So welcome back. Um today it's this is more just like a little a little taste of what's to come in the channel uh, coming up like in the near future. So coming up after this video like in probably it's going to come out either tomorrow or the next day. Um, we've got the Get Smart series starting. So I've been working really hard to get that um, Get Smart started. And I'm happy to say that it's well on its way. Um, it's going to be a five-part series. Um, so many people requested it, so I'm very happy to bring it through to you guys. And yeah, so today, um, I've got two things that I want to show you. Number one, I bought somebody's collection not too long ago. And um, I actually bought his deck. And with it came everything else. And it turned out there was quite a, a number of things that I wasn't expecting to get. And I feel like paying it forward to you guys as, as my subscribers, as my viewers. So there's going to be a couple of things that I'm going to give away during the Get Smart series, which I will explain in the first episode of the Get Smart series, episode one. But um, I just wanted to show you that the one thing that I will be giving away in that Get Smart series is this beautiful Zorok Cities Champion mat. So this I got with the guy's collection and I will be giving it away to, to everybody who's watched the to well in the series. But I'll explain more about that. Um, what I wanted to go over was, like I mentioned, I, I bought this guy's collection for his deck. But in the bag that he gave me was this file. And I was quite surprised just doing a quick skim through it. And I wanted to share it with you guys quickly um, because I'm going to be giving some of these cards away. So... I'm going to give them away and I'll explain afterwards how that how you guys can enter the draw to, to win some of these cards. So let's have a look to the file and see what there is. <clears throat> there is a Umbreon Darkrai GX. Um, was playable in Dark Box. Uh, that's the deck that I bought from the guy. It was a Dark Box deck. Um, got a Rainbow Ray Stack Attacker from Celestial Storm. Um, and we've got a Palkia GX from Ultra Prism. Very cool full art. Uh, Dawnwing's Necrozma GX and the Shiftry GX from also from Celestial Storm. Dialga GX from Ultra Prism, quite cool, and Sol Galeo from Ultra Prism as well, the Prism. Giratina Prism got a little bit of play um, for a short period. And um, we've got Sol Galeo from Celestial Storm. So all of this, like when looking through the file, I was like, okay, this guy's just a little bit sentimental over his hollows, right? Got Kyurem from Unbroken Bonds, I think it was. And we've got Celestila from uh, Celestial Storm. Got a Macargo with Smooth Over from Celestial Storm, McGinna from Ultra Prism, so everything seemed pretty standard. Here we got a Mega Sableye Tyranitar from Unified Mind, so this is still playable. This Victini Prism was very sought after for Baby Blacephalon. It's obviously rotated now, but it was nice to see it in the file. We got a Promo Terrakion, Blaine's Last Stand. Incineroar GX is seeing play in Mew3, the Wilder box, so, or Mew3 Wilder version, so that's very cool. We've got a Hooper GX full art. And we've got another Hooper GX full art. We've got a Volkner third place promo. Um, Arcanine, this was played in Reshizard for a little while. Amoongus from Unified Minds, I thought that was pretty cool. Two Alola Ninetales GX. This was like, this was really sought after when it came out. This is from Lost Thunder, it's rotated now. We have another Mega Saber Lion Tyranitar and a Green Ninja Zorok. So this guy punted hard for his Dark Box deck, right? We've got a Rowlet and a Lonely Executor. We've got a White Kai Urim promo from, uh, I think this was Dragon's Majesty. Uh, that is rotated. Uh, we've got a Gold Tag Switch. That's very nice. You guys know, if you've seen me do pack openings, you know I love gold. A random Alolan Raichu. We've got a Reshiram and Zekrom GX from... Uh, what, what is this? Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, Mew. Still playable. Uniswan Snivy. Very nice. Uh, another Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Here we've got a Mew and Mewtwo. Like Mewtwo and Mew GX promo. Like this is still very playable. And there's two of them. We've got a Cynthia promo from Regionals. From the SPE. Which is awesome to see. Togepi Cleffa and Iglybuff. Very cute card. A Rainbow Wrestle Valley GX with Disc Reload. Latios GX still being played in Mew Box. Espeon and Deoxys GX, the same story. This uh, promo version of uh, Dawnwing's Necrozma got played in Malamar for a little while. A Reshiram and Charizard GX. 
Here's a chandelier. Here we've got Macargo, and I noticed that the sleeves are a bit fat, so just to pop this out, he looked like he was on his way to build a Mewtwo uh, deck because in the sleeve is Macargo, Naganadal, Charizard, and Jirachi. So it's got like all of the pieces, right? Um, there's a Terrakion again. Another Incineroar, this is the second one. Metal Core Barrier, nice Goldie. Venomoth GX, Evaltal GX. It's got some random water energies over here from, well, okay, there's only one. Solgaleo GX again going with the Mew box. It's like pieces of Mew, but this, this part is rotated. And at the back here, we got, I think it's just some randoms. Got a Hitmonchan, Nidoran, Marshadow. But some cool stuff, some very cool stuff. So, luckily for me, I have, sorry, I need to look. This is a new setup that I'm doing. Cool. Sorry, guys. So, luckily for me, I have got majority of the Mew box still. I, I have it in, in, in my playing file, right? So, what I thought about doing is, I want to give you guys, like, a bunch of stuff that might help you as a collector or as a player. So, I'm going to give away this Macargo. I'm going to give away this Naganadal. I'm going to give away this Charizard. Like, I'm going to give all these cards away. All the cards that I lay out right now, I'm giving away. The Jirachi I got to keep. Sorry, guys. Uh, Solgaleo. Sure, I'll give him away. Uh, what else am I giving away? There were a bunch of doubles. Um, for the collectors. Stack Attacker. Sure. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I've got one in my collection file. Um, I could give all these away, in fact. I mean, maybe I, I'll, I'll, I'm going to keep those for the juniors of my leagues. There was multiple copies of these, so I'm going to give that away. Uh, I'll give away a Unified Minds promo. Um, there were two Incineroars. Played with Mewbox, so I'll give that away. Let me just put that one side. Uh, there were two, two Hoopers. I'll give that away. I'll give this away. Uh, for those interested, let's uh, throw in the vault now. I know I've got all four of those. Uh, Ninetales, why not? I do own them. Uh, there wasn't doubles of these. We've already got a Sableye Tyranitar there. Uh, Eggro, I'll throw in this White Kyurem. Rallet and Executor is, I think he's still quite playable. I mean, that's my opinion. I'm going to keep the goldies, guys. Uh, Reshiram and Zekrom, I don't know if I have a half heart in my set, so I might give it away in another video. I will. I'll give away a Mew and Mewtwo GX. I'll give away a Promo Cynthia. I'll give away a Togepi and Igly buff. I'm going to keep the Sableye. I mean, the Silvalli. I don't have him. Uh, Reshiram and Charizard, I'm going to keep, guys. Uh... Ooh, what's behind here? There's a chandelier, a Garchomp, and a Galissapod. Nah, I already put one of those down. Incineroar I've got down already. Um, Evoltal I'll give away. Sure, it's rotated for those who are looking for it still. Um, and yeah, I'm going to give all these cards away. So these cards are stacked between playable and non-playable. So, like, there's definitely stuff for collectors and stuff that are for players. So, Mewtwo. Um, <laughs> I'd say Mega Sableye, Incineroar is still playable. Charizard is playable, but also collector. Um, Naganadal. And technically, this is playable as well. So, I'm going to keep these cards in one stack. And... I will put all of these in another stack and the Charizard. So I'm going to do three giveaways. Uh, pile one. Let's put the most sought off the card on top. So pile one. Pile two. I don't know what you guys would consider the most. I think the Cynthia is the most valuable card over there. And then the Charizard on his own. I think we should put this Charizard in the sleeve. I feel, feel sacrilegious to leave this bad boy out, right? So, these are the cards I'm giving away, guys. Um, what I'm going to do is, 
so I, I'm going to do a random draw. And what I would like you guys to do is, so I'm going to leave the link to my Facebook page in the description. And if you guys could like the Facebook page, and essentially what I'm going to do is, like, I really want to make this exclusive. So I'm going to make this subscribers only. So what you guys are going to have to do is, on my Facebook page, on my wall, I will play, I'll place a picture of these three stacks on, on, on the wall. And if you can comment with your, showing that you are subscribed to my channel. Um, there's, like, if you guys... I, I, I really do appreciate it. At the end of the day, that's what it all comes down to. So I'm just trying to, to gather a following and I'm really trying to build some hype for the teaching series that I'm going to be putting out. Guys, I haven't done any pack openings for a while. And um, honestly, I've put a lot of work into this teaching series and I really would appreciate the support. So I'm going to give all of this away. This All of this was completely extra to me. I had no clue that I was going to be getting all of this. So I'm going to be giving these cards away. So... Yeah, I'll leave the instructions on the Facebook page. Go like my Facebook page and I'll leave instructions on there on how you can win these cards in the lucky draw. Okay, so putting that aside, I went to the shop today. So I'm going to look again. Everything is okay. <laughs> so I went to the shop today and I went for some stationary supplies for my daughter. And lo and behold, on the shelf, I found these. Darkness of Blaze is upon us, people. So there's no way that I was going to leave these packs behind. And not like... I had to buy some, right? I had to open some 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 booster packs for you guys. So I'm going to open these. I'll give you guys the code cards as always. And then we can just see. Hopefully we can pull something great. Because the Darkness of Blaze series was not good to me. Like, we we got to be honest, right? So let's uh, hope for something great, right? If you guys haven't done already, please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I mean, I, I can't say it enough. Uh, the support so far has been, like, overwhelming. I really do appreciate all of it. Um, starting off with the white code. Very, very nice. Uh, there's the code. I don't know if you guys can see it. If you can't see it there, I'll put it there. Hopefully, you can see it in one of those places. This camera layout isn't working for me. Um, okay, so I'm going to get some water energy because the giveaways are awesome. So, we have to get water, right? <laughs> it's dark. Could this be a Crobat? Who knows? Let's have a look. Relicanth. Yalhorn. Ursaring. Electric. Fletchling. Galarian Mr. Mime. Torchic. Aron. The reverse hollow is a Pinkurchin. Pinkurchin. And the rare for the pack is a Grim Snarl V. Not a bad first pull. We got the V Max in the original videos, right? So let's have a look at what this guy does. Oh, hold it up to there. That seems okay. So a bite for 40. And he does spiky knuckle for 200. You can put two darkness energies attached to this Pokemon into your hand. Not bad. I'm happy with this. A GX on the first pack. I can't complain. We'll leave him over there where he's still inside. And the rest of these guys can go away. Cool, not bad. First pack, GX. Can't complain. I feel like I'm already doing better than most of my other opening videos for Darkness of Blaze. Let's have a look. Can we get another white coat? Two for two. It is green. Okay, not bad. Can't have a white coat every time, right? There's the code card. This is really awkward, guys. I'm sorry for the, the weird camera antics. Uh, I'll call it Grass Energy. It's fighting. We know that I'm going to get all of these wrong, right? Cape of Toughness. Happy with that. For those who haven't seen Cape of Toughness in a previous video already, uh, the basic Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus 50 HP except Pokemon GX. So I've been doing some playtesting with Spiritomb with this card. It's pretty decent. Powerful Energy. I like it. Again, for those who haven't seen Powerful Energy before, um, if it's attached to a colorless Pokemon, it's attached to 20 more damage. So very cool. Soul Rock. Purloin, Hippopotus, Hippopotus, Centret, trying to fly away there, uh, Lavesta, Molal, our reverse hollow is a Teddy Ursa, very cute, and the rare for the pack is a Galarian Surfetched, haven't seen him before, 
uh, Galarian Surfetch. He does Pierce for 1 energy for 40 and Meteor Assault 180. And this Pokemon can't use Meteor Assault again until it leaves the active spot. So basically, you got to switch it out, right? Pretty cool. I don't think we pulled him in any videos. Um, on to pack number three. At this point, like, I'm happy that we got a V. Like, I'm already doing better than some of the other videos, right? And it's a green code. Um, there we go, guys. Code card for you. Ooh. Okay, I'm sure you got it by now. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to call Psychic. Yes, I didn't get them all wrong. Um, Shenotic. Rose, I'm happy with Rose. So, Rose, this this card hasn't got a lot of play, strangely enough. I really thought it would, but anyway, Rose, for those who don't know what it does, attach up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V Max. And if you attach any energy cards in this way, discard your hand. So, it goes with the Rose Tower, the stadium, as we've seen before. Uh, Simipore, Wishy Washy, Pansage, Taurus, Diglett. Squovit, our reverse hollow is a Star Raptor, and the rare for the pack is a Mimikyu. We've got a lot of those Mimikyus. I can tell you that I have more than four of these guys. They pop themselves up. Last pack magic, guys. Press like now so we can pull something great in this pack. Um, yeah. Again, <laughs> happy with a V, nonetheless. Uh, can we get a white code? We can not get a white code. Man, I have the worst luck with packs, guys. But here we go. Here's the code card. Take it. And go. Uh, water. Fighting. Lunatone. Dartrix. Glimwood Tangle. I like that card. <clears throat> oh, sorry. For you guys who don't know what it does. Uh, once during each player's turn, after that player flips any coins for an attack, they may ignore all results of those coin flips and flip them again. There was a Victini in Noble Victories that did this. There was one in Guardians Rising that did this. So there's been Pokemon that have done this before, but I don't think there's ever been a stadium. Guys, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, Panpaw, Tediosa, Rukidi, Torchic, our reverse holo is a Clink, and our rare for the pack is a Tarina. Okay, cool. Those were the pack openings. Apparently, I didn't need sleeves. But we got a Grimmsnarl. Not bad, guys. Not bad, not bad. Have a look. Look there. Look there. <laughs> cool. Um, so, yeah, going back to the video, like the, the giveaway. So, remember, there's going to be three draws. One, two, three lucky draws. I hope you guys can see all of this. Three lucky draws. Please stay tuned. Like... Keep an eye out for those watching the, the teaching videos. I do promise that they are not just for beginners. I start off at beginner on episode one and then work your way towards some more advanced um, tips and tricks that you guys can use. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of gameplay online. Uh, I really I really have put a lot of effort into this. And at the end of the day, my, my goal for this channel is to grow the community in South Africa um yeah in cape town especially we had the biggest like we had we had the biggest player base in the whole of south africa it's really gone down COVID has really made things a bit strange and i really just want to give back to the community as much as i can um in the giveaways for the the get smart series i'm going to be giving away a mat i'm going to be giving away a box of sleeves and i'm going to be giving a set of staples away uh, that you guys need for pretty much all of your decks so i'm going to be giving all of the stuff away um, for all those that are interested um, again I really really do appreciate the support guys it's it's been overwhelming so far I love the comments I love the input it, 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 it makes me want to make more content um, again I'm not doing this for money I'm not doing this for any other reason I'm literally just trying to be a great ambassador for what is the wonderful game of Pokemon until next time guys cheers